Breaking news right now, a live look at the launch pad in Cape Canaveral, Florida, where SpaceX is about to carry a crew into space and then on to the International Space Station. This will be SpaceX's third manned launch for NASA. And you can see in the upper left hand part of your screen there we're less than 30 seconds away from liftoff. 20 seconds to liftoff. 20 seconds now <laughs> for liftoff. Four astronauts on board the crew Dragon Endurance. 15 seconds. They include three Americans, one European, Mission Commander Raja Chari, 10, pilot Tom 9, Marshburn, Mission 8, Specialist Kyla 7, Barron, and 6, European 6, Space 5, Agency 5, astronaut Matthias Maurer. Let's 3, listen in 2, for the countdown and liftoff. 1, 0. Ignition. And liftoff. Got Laboratory in orbit. The International Space Station. Vehicle is pitching down range. And that's the call we want to hear. Good performance on that first stage so far. T plus 30 seconds. Captain 9, powered by 9 Merlin 1 Gs. Pushing Dragon into low Earth orbit on the way to the International Space Station. Power and telemetry nominal. This is so Stage neat to watch, isn't it? As we mentioned, astronauts will be flying on a six-month mission to the ISS. Of course, they'll be spending six months there. They actually had a dress rehearsal three days before Halloween, and it was supposed to happen on Halloween, but that, of course, got scrapped because of bad weather conditions in the area. They're expected to arrive at the ISS at 4.10 p.m. tomorrow, our time. It is so pretty to see that at nighttime, is it? It's kind of rare to see that, but this is live. The flight comes less than 48 hours after SpaceX flew another quartet of astronauts home from a space station earlier. Of course, one of the situations there they had was the crew was alerted to an issue with the onboard toilet's fan, which is used to create suction that is necessary to go to the bathroom. So they had to wear diapers to come back to Earth, and we since heard that they have fixed the bathroom on the ISS, which is great because they're getting four new astronauts. <laughs> That's true. Well, despite the favorable weather conditions right now, forecaster is still keeping an eye on the recovery zone, as they call it. That's where the Falcon 9 first stage will actually land. Uh, the time of a 9.03 Eastern time, by the way, was actually chosen because that's supposed to be the optimum moment to get the Crew Dragon to dock at the ISS. So lots of astrophysics calculations going on, obviously. Just incredible to watch. Yeah, the crew is scheduled to spend six months on the space station performing science experiments on the orbiting laboratory. Well, the astronauts, NASA isn't saying which one was sidelined last week by an undisclosed medical issue. The crew member is now fully recovered on board. NASA won't say whether it was an injury or illness, but they said it's definitely not COVID-19. So once again, leaving you live pictures of four astronauts heading to the International Space Station. Okay, back here in L.A. L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti.